collapse. She saw it fall from the town square, her ears ringing after the deafening blow. The victory shaft, shaft swayed, then began to fall like a pack of cards brushed by a breeze. Thick black smoke erupted into the air. She told me that, at that moment, fear had swelled like a balloon in her chest. The victory shaft had fallen, and a great accident had occurred in the mine. She feared we were both dead for a brief moment, but I was not there. It would take her years to overcome this. We had to leave. Fletcher. Three twelve. I'm not sure what these are about. Oh my god, there's too much stuff. What do I do with all of this? I'm scared. Oh god, it keeps going down. I'll explore this later. Let's stay up here. How long do you think it takes to paint a sky like that? Like this guy? Well, if you want to paint this guy, it'd probably take you about two minutes. It's like a solid color and then some splotches of nasty, but looks like nasty air pollution. I'm so gonna leave areas unexplored accidentally. This place is so huge. imaginable to complete this restoration. Just remember that all of this funding is lost if you don't do your job effectively and find that artifact. I don't think I give a damn about your stupid funding. A gift. I remember coming home one sunny afternoon after I had been attending school to find an odd-shaped parcel on the living room table. My father had recently stopped working at the mine and my mother had unfortunately left us both for a reason that I never truly knew. I think he wanted me to know that he still loved me regardless of his situation. My father came downstairs smiling, his eyes a little lost, and told me to sit down. He pushed the present towards me, and I began to open it. Inside was a tin Davies lamp all cleaned up and ready for use. It had been my father's from when he had worked in Devlin. It meant everything to me. Thomas. I'm really sorry for asking, but I thought I'd left them there. GA4. Pinwheel Village. Locked. As soon as we get off this boat, we should take a look at one of those.
Hmm, there's got to be a way to get over there, because I see a note. But... I don't see a bridge or anything of the sort. Apparently your slave, so I can't say I exactly want to keep your secret all that much. Because I don't really like you. Reminder, mail. Pick mail up from floor, open mail, sort mail into important and junk piles, place junk pile into bin, place important pile into letter rack. That was a fascinating read. <laughs> ah, to-do list. Mundane to-do lists. I'm hand painted too. Reminder, wash bed sheets today. I'd really like to know why pulling these things activates a really bassy sort of synth. Why? Okay, I know I still need to go down there, but I think there's somewhere else. Um, well, I just came from in here. I didn't go up here, did I? Or did I just come from up there? I don't even know where I just came from. I already read that. No, I didn't come from up here. Whoa. Arsenic house or tramming. Do I need to know all these? Maybe I do. Alright, got them all written down. Not precisely sure what I'm going to do with them. Maybe there's three other. I've already done this one. The arsenic house. I guess there's three others that I need to do. Yeah, it's got to be that. A large bundle of postcards just laying in a pile on the front porch. This is called a victory shaft. Apparently, it could be seen for miles around and controlled the central operation to the industrial area. Each of the four work pillars were pivotal in Pinwell's economic success, and all of them, working to full capacity, was required to create a sustainable export operation. Hmm. And that note I saw a little while ago said the Victory Tower was falling or something like that? All right, well, I'm guessing I need all of these actually done for this to work, but let's try the one that's actually done. Or maybe I don't actually... That's not a button, is it? Is that a, is that a button? Hmm, I thought the arsenic house was done, because that's the one where I did the... the thingies. Anyway... Come back to that later. Oh, well, that's inconvenient. What the mind? 
Why why is the mind and the heart lit up? I'm gonna write that down. <clears throat> Just in case. It's not lit up back here at my home base, right? No, it's not. And then... The numbers and the centerpiece is also lit up, the 19 and 44. I feel like that's relevant somehow to something. It's probably not just a coincidence. Let's get a better look at that. Okay, is the only place you left. Think it's safe. So tall. Okay, is the only place left to go down. Is that it? That might be it. Wait, I know there's a ribbon over there. Over here. Yeah, I haven't been up here. Painter's Journal number 7. I must admit, I have been quite nervous and shy whilst attending various group and therapy sessions. I prefer to focus on what task I have been given, and rarely speak with others in the group. Up until now, I, I think this has been because I feel that I'm different to them in some way. Yet today, we had a new patient come into the group named Mark. He was a similar age to me, around 65, and had been diagnosed with dementia. He was a photographer like my son, and spent a lot of his time discussing the work that he had done. I liked him a lot, and it was nice to connect with someone who was as passionate about art as I. Here we go. So another pressure control thing, and this is the mill management. All right, I've got that written down. Mill management. Okay, it is up, down, 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 medium. Not many people ever saw the inside of that office. And the ones that had weren't around very long to talk about it. What in the... what? Is that magnetic? I have no idea what that's about. Hm. Can't, seem, can't seem to do anything with it. At least not with my hands. Maybe with an item or something. I think I need some fuses there. Three 
years. I've placed three whole years of my life into this research. I have sacrificed so much. Patients with these specific symptoms of dementia and at this stage don't come along often. And to be told that after three years of hard work and waiting that I've only nine days to yield the results that they want. Who the hell do they think they are? It's not my fault. I can only work with the restorers I'm given. Oh my. This is the office, isn't it? It's full of stuff. Things to read. Or is that the office? Maybe that's the office. Maybe this is just a meeting room. Everybody had meetings here, looked at boring old books, and smoked and drank. What could be healthier? Alright, so these aren't buttons, these are lights, and none of them appear to be lit up. Which is kind of strange, because I've done the pressure thing for two of these. For the arsenic house and, uh, I think meal management? So maybe there's something else I need to do to get them going. <clears throat> Oh, this is new. Immigrant Employee Scheme. Part of it's covered up, though. Employing people of foreign origin is... I think it's greatly encouraged, and part of the new something expansion scheme for the UK. Industry expansion scheme. Successful employment of immigrants. Something somebody to be met with benefits and tax some de deductions for companies taking part in the scheme. Benefits and reductions will be beneficial and um, foreign employees registered to the company. Okay. To do. Check valve pressure. Random locker search. Order more coffee. <laughs> Check weather reports. Order shipment confirmation. Ordered one 1,000 kilograms of arsenic granules and 1,000 kilograms of powdered arsenic. Oh my god. Delivery to Marshton Pharmaceutics. Dock 5, New Jersey. Shipment to be handled with extreme care as a request of the recipient. Yes, I hope so. Seriously, ar arsenic is scary stuff. Barograph operation. Place the paper on the barograph. Activate the barograph. Remove paper only when sequence is completed. Note, clear skies come with high pressures. Okay. Shipment advice. It's important to keep weather conditions in mind when attempting to deliver a shipment overseas. Keep a record of pressure changes with a bar graph and be sure to schedule shipment based on the readings. Alright, so that's obviously something I'm going to have to do. I'm actually going to write it just a short note. High pressure equals clear skies. Probably that's going to be related to a, uh, a projector. Mill Management Minutes. MMM. We need a good weather... <laughs> I don't know why I just said MMM. I just wanted to. We need a good weather forecast to get our shipment to the USA. Walkway up to top floor needs fixing ASAP. Doesn't help with our production issues. Temporary rope fix for lift needs to stop now. If we get audited, we're finished. Rumors have been circulating that a disgruntled worker is stealing materials from the site. We need to clamp down on this. Pinwheel Post, 4th of January, 1944. Pinwheel Chronicle Birth Announcements. Hmm. I feel like there's a lot of, um, password possibilities here. 
Georgina Jane Shorrock's birth. Okay. Let me just scan this for anything important. That was Gene Thornton's birth. October 1st, 1944. I feel like there's got to be a password in there. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. Okay, do I have this one? Mill management. Yeah, I just did that one. I guess they've got extras. Okay, upstairs. So that's where I started from, down there. Yep, and there's the office that I can't open. Ooh, big button. What, what is that about? What the hell is that for? And why is there two of them? I don't get it. Having never worked in a factory, I don't know if this is like a common thing. I don't know anything about factories, as a matter of fact. Oh, it's locked. Damn it. It's disappointing. I can't seem to actually interact with it. Oh, that can be opened. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's going to hook onto that. But why? What is that going to do? Is that related to the lift? Uh, that doesn't look right. What in the hell? Why is it gyrating? Like, that doesn't even look physically possible. What is even going on? It just looks like the game is bugged out. Can't open that one. It looks like I'm still missing fuses, too. C3? Probably don't need to write that stuff down, but just in case, as always. Ooh, there's a note. I can't get to it. Cruel. That is cruel and unusual punishment. I can see the note, but I can't get to it. <clears throat> nah. nah, I can't get to it. Right, so I need four fuses. Do I have a source of fuses? I don't think I do. I did back in the supposed real world, if that actually was the real world, when I first started playing. But, yeah. I guess I'm done here. Okay. I think it's time to go down. What are you doing hiding down there, flower? You're not supposed to be in the concrete. Wow, look 
at that. The most beautifully painted sunset. All those greens and browns. Just amazing. Looks like the sunset nowadays would just be browns, no greens. It's a very grim sky. Very grim atmosphere. Okay, what's down here? Another transition. Painter's Journal number six. Today was bad. I didn't go to group because I had lost my house keys and I couldn't find them anywhere. I got so angry and frustrated that I emptied all my drawers and flipped over every cushion or pillow that I owned. I got a call from Dr. Edmonds later on in the day, and she was asking why I hadn't attend attended therapy in preparation for my next consultation. She sounded concerned on the phone, but I tried to let her know that I was fine and that she had nothing to worry about. Sometimes it feels like a noise in my head. The confusion, that is. Too many avenues to explore, some much darker than others. I got my pencils out so I could draw it home and relax, but found many of them to be, to be broken, so I used some charcoal to sketch out some ideas. I found it stopped me stressing out a lot. Afterwards, I found, I found that my keys were upstairs in the bathroom cabinet for some reason. At least this means I can go to art group again next week. God, just imagining how scary that would be. Honestly, to be basically losing your mind, like you don't remember why the hell you, you did things. Like you just forget. Not even being able to trust your own brain. I mean, already. You know, even in like a normal functioning brain, you still can't trust your brain entirely. But to have it break down even more to that point is it's terrifying. Don't know if I need this, but I'll keep it. You're going the right way. I don't actually think there's a wrong way. I mean, you could turn around, but that would just be back that way. Don't go back that way. Unless you want to. You're kind of confusing me here. There's too many ways. Oh my god. Uh. Alright, well this is good at least. Um, which one is this? I did mill management and arsenic cow, so it's either ore tramming or miner's dry. It's gotta be ore tramming, right? So that's middle, middle, bottom, top, top. do these buttons do? Shouldn't they have labels? Did I pick something up? No. Wait, where's it going? Okay. I 
There we go. No, that didn't work. I, whatever. Man, this is really overwhelming. So many areas. The locker room. Oh, and there's Miner's Dry. There's gotta be some good personal stuff in here. Let's get some tunes. Ooh, this one's locked. Note to Rich. Rich, did you get a chance to speak to the Warden about your concerns with the new controlled explosives for this new underground excavation? I'd feel much safer if you brought this up before we begin work on the list on the first of the month. I also overheard Adam Westerman talking about the lack of checks that have occurred regarding this new expansion. Obviously his history was in safety over at Devlin, and he seems pretty concerned. Anyways, I'll, I'll catch you in the crow's nest later. Victor. Note to Sean. Yeah, I did hear that. Nasty piece of work sometimes, Rob. His dad, Adrian, is alright, mind, and I'm glad he owns this place rather than his son. Sorry you keep getting hounded by him, pal. If it's any better, I got pulled in as well the other day. Apparently I'd written a load of ore shipments on the board incorrectly. Even though I, I swear I didn't. Gave me a right telling off as if I was a kid. One day he's gonna take it too far and he'll want to eat his words. I hope you're not planning something too drastic. John. Air compressors. I believe I already read that. Mm, it smells damp and horrible. The air I breathe. The air in here deceives me. I can taste the acrid, sour molecules on the tip of my tongue. No one else notices, but I do. How can I taste something that's famous for being invisible to our senses? I don't know. But I taste the arsenic, as thick as cream mingled with the air in here. Not enough rags to cover our faces, and not enough masks to share with the miners below. I grimace with every breath that I take, and I fear well, and a fear wells up inside of me. Still, m me and the other girls need to get the shipment done soon, otherwise we'll have Oliver and Aaron panicking. Judith Thompson. <clears throat> hmm. It's got a couple locked ones here. Note to Victor. Victor. No, I haven't had a chance to speak to the Warden yet. I also have the same reservations as Adam, but am unsure of how to approach everything. The Mining Warden is pretty stressed at the moment, and I think any questions regarding his conduct are going to result in dismissals, and I can't risk that at the moment. I'll maybe have a chat with Adrian, if I get the opportunity, but we'll have to wait and see. I'll see you in the pub later. Shit. I think it's mis I think it should say should be a laugh. It says should be a laugh. I think it should Yeah, I think it's meant to say should be a laugh, and Richard Frost is on land tonight, so he should be down. Rich. Oh wow, there's three locked ones. This one doesn't even have a name. This place is gonna drive me crazy. All these locked things, oh my god. Ooh, hello. I know exactly where to take these. Okay, I need... Uh, is it four or six? 300 amp fuse. Seven, oh god, they have different amperages. I don't know what, what amperage I need. Oh, 
Okay, well, it's at least four, right? And assuming they're all the same amperage, which I think is a safe bet. It's got to be one that has four. 300, 300, 700, 700. Wait, 300? 300, that's three. There isn't even four 300s. Hmm, okay. Maybe they don't all need to be the same amperage. This one doesn't even have the code wheel things on it. Note to John. I got pulled into the office today for an inquiry. Apparently something to do with missing drill pieces in the mine? It says I was the last one to be seen with them. Don't know who told him that, which has put me on a... Don't know who told him that, which has put me on edge a little. Came at me like an interrogation of some kind, asking different questions. I'm sick to death of being treated like this, and on top of everything, he's denied my May Day holiday request. Did you know Oliver already reported him to his dad for bullying Simon Shorox in the depths? Something has to be done, and I'm thinking of doing that something on May 1st. Sean. Oh god, so that's what, like, five freaking lockers? That I don't know the passwords to? Oh. Weak structure. Miners, do not, under any circumstances, use the washroom facilities in the miners dry until maintenance work has been carried out. Please use bathroom next to canteen if you wish to wash. Warden. Okay, so this should be the last one of this. This is Miner's Dry. Top down, medium top down. A stadium almost full with screaming fans. His little eyes taking it in for the first time. These cramped rooms were where the miners spent most of their time before going underground. It was like a community here. Records show that the mining wardens usually put a lot of undue pressure on the miners to meet quotas. It must have been a grueling job. Reminder, lock door when leaving house. realize these reminders that are for super obvious things like locked door and leaving house are those like are those from Jean suffering from does she have dementia or is it Alzheimer's I don't remember well suffering from whatever she's suffering from are those reminders to herself because it's stuff that she started to forget, so she started writing herself notes to do simple things. Depends how I feel. Alright, so if the other restorers have tried, does she mean that they've tried on Jean? Or they've tried on other people? If others have tried on Jean and failed, what happened to them? 
Did they just get blocked, or, like, did they die or something? What does failure entail? Miners caught smuggling ore will be prosecuted. Well, fair enough. Stealing company property, essentially. I came in here from here, right? Yeah, so I haven't been here. And there's nothing more over here, right? Oh no, yes, there's there's a lot more over here. Okay. What is in here? My god. Arsenic disposal. <laughs> Days since last accident. Looks like it maybe said 31, but it's been erased. Which I assume means that the accident happened today. Oh wow, I actually have to put coffee in it, don't I? I do. Yeah, because this is obviously just water. Nothing but warm water. Miner's dry, coffee machine clean. Coffee filter, cleaning grains. What? Only two grains needed. Oh, I need to clean it? Okay. More beans. I'll take them. Oh, here we go. hate controllers for this. There we go. Okay, um, what did I accomplish? Okay, seems like I used up the cleaning things, so... I guess I've prepped it. Do I have, like, a mug back here? Probably a special mug or something, right? Probably one I need to find inside of there. Yeah, I don't have anything. Okay, dear god, where do I go? I need help. I can't keep all of this inside of my mind. I have no idea. Seven twelve, whatever that means. <laughs> How did we get here? I can't remember. D11. Now I'm thinking maybe these are relevant, actually, because the fact that it's actually showing me this number... Like, through this broken part of the wall, it's like trying to shove it in my face. Which, again, makes me think it does actually matter. Hmm. But what do I do with that information? 
All right, I already know those numbers. Well, this is a safety hazard. Oh, it's actually unlocked. Decorative plates on the wall. I prefer plates that you actually use for food. Plates are tools to me. Wee! Do it again, do it again. I can only do it once? Aw, oh, man. I can only do it once. That's also like the lumpiest globe I've ever seen. Holy crap. Could have given it a couple more polygons, couldn't you? Hold on, hold on, there's something behind here. I see you. Come here. No, not that. Can I not pick that up? I'm awfully suspicious of that. It really looks like you can pick it up. It looks like a bottle of medicine or something. Seem to I'm gonna use my mouse for this. I don't think I can it's hiding behind there though, like I swear I'm supposed to pick it up. It looks like such an a, a secret. Oh, that is gonna drive me nuts. Come on. Let me use mouse and keyboard for a minute, just to get a feel for it. So much nicer. Oh. But I really do need to train with my controller to get good at Dark Souls 2, so I shall keep using it. I just want to go prone so I can get it, but I can't do that. There's no, like, super low crouch. Hmm. Eh, whatever. Back to the controller. That was my arm popping, by the way. Lovely crunchy noise. Ooh. Maybe this is where the coffee goes? It doesn't really look like a coffee cup. Expect that to be a mug, but maybe. Oh, I want to open it. Oh well. Is that a secret compartment? That is a secret compartment. Oh, I've got to put my current object somewhere. Hello. Oh, yes. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Um, I should probably take that with me. I think I can take it with me. <laughs> um... kind of big. Can I... <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I'll leave it. It's fine. We are about to do some snooping. Oh my god, this office is beautiful. I'm not sure we're allowed to be in here. Look at this wood. It's gorgeous. Denied. Mr. Lewis, unfortunately, due to the new expansion schedule, I simply cannot authorize three new drill pieces to be used in the depths. As the company's core repairman, I consider a part of your job to find a manual solution to this problem. If you need assistance with this, with this please don't hesitate to contact, though. Uh, contact through again. Yeah, still, none of these are lit up, even though I did the... The uh, pressure valve things. 
Disciplinary. Tasks for the day. Disciplinary action with possible suspension for Sean V. We've had word that he's been stealing materials from the industrial center. Find where my missing mug has gone. I cannot find it anywhere. Missing mug, you don't say. I was thinking I'm going to need a mug to put coffee in. Nothing of note. Pressure. I feel conflicted. There's no way in hell I will be able to get this job done effectively if I am not strict and stern with my workers. I just wish that they knew that I do not mean to be this way. That I am harsh so that the work is complete on time. It's their jobs on the line if we don't make an adequate turnover, and the local economy relies on these shipments to stay afloat. It's a tough job, but someone has to do it. I just wish that I didn't let it get on top of me sometimes. I care so much about them all staying in work. The weight of this mine is on my shoulders, and my back is beginning to hurt. Warden. I thought that painting seemed a bit suspicious. Okay, what the hell is the password though? There's so many codes I need for this place. So many. Is there any way I have it? Um, I'm gonna try 1944. No. Using the keyboard and mouse for this because it's way easier. Um, and try one eight four five. No, I don't believe I have it. I don't think I do. What about the locker codes? I mean, this isn't a locker, obviously. Wait, who's whose office is this? I mean, given that I just read a note from the Warden. Yeah, it's got to be the Warden. But who is the Warden? What's his name? I don't know. But anyway, that's not a locker, so I don't think he'd be on the locker codes sheet. Alright, so I'm on the lookout for a mug. I already went up there, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. Alright, what's this way? 